I'm going to now direct this at Vice President Biden. Um, I do not believe you are a racist. And I agree with you when you commit yourself to the importance of finding common ground. But I also believe, and it's personal, and I was actually very, it was hurtful, to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations and career on the segregation of race in this country. And it was not only that, but you also worked with them to oppose busing. You know, there was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. Yep. Vice President Biden, do you agree today, do you agree today that you were wrong to oppose busing in America? Do you think that his remarks about segregation as senators and his past policy on busing effectively disqualify him as a candidate? That's a decision for the voters to make. It's hard to pick somebody that's that disrespectful when she said things during the debates, during the Democrat primary debates that were horrible about Sleepy Joe, and uh, I would think that he wouldn't have picked. That I am with great enthusiasm going to endorse Joe Biden for President of the United States. I believe in Joe. She's the one catapulted into history as the first black woman and South Asian American on a major U.S. ticket. Senator Kamala Harris, vetted and tested already in a bid to be the presidential nominee, she dropped out last December. I am suspending our campaign today. And got behind Biden, a strategic choice. The next president of the United States, Joe Biden. He confirmed his decision with her in a laptop chat in these surreal times. Harris was an obvious front runner, a senator, a former attorney general, but the timing was key. The transformative protests over George Floyd's murder and Black Lives Matter made choosing a black woman paramount. Biden was under pressure. It meant he and she had to make amends after she took him on over school desegregation. Biden describes her as tough, a fighter, and she'll need to be. Voters rejected Harris. They smartly spotted a phony. The Trump campaign was ready. I thought she was the meanest, uh, the, the most horrible, most disrespectful of anybody in the U.S. Senate. The two Democrats will be together tomorrow at a fundraiser as this pandemic campaign finally shifts into gear.